Hey guys. Oh my god, this is so weird. 1.39 in the morning. <laughs> and I just, I finished writing something, I finished working on some things, and so I placed a big ass order from Checkers on Uber Eats, and I am gonna do a mukbang for you guys. I am so excited. I'll get into the talking on the food if you have. And start with the, the soda, of course. I got a Mr. Pib. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Very good. Just like God intended. So, I'm not just gonna sit here and gloat in my food all night. I had my friend Zoe. I love you, Zoe. Sent me a ton of questions that I'm gonna answer over my checkers in my Barbados. So her first thing is she asked my favorites. First one's my favorite planet. Earth is pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, we live. Um, no, I like Mars too. Mars is cool. Neptune, I like them all. Flower. I wish I knew anything about flowers. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Animal. Penguin. Penguin easily. I love them so much. I love, they're like, I feel like it's part of my minimalism thing. I love their aesthetic. The shape and black and white and they're also like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite. I've literally just been holding this big Buford for too long. Nobody does a hamburger like checkers. Oh, shut the f up. Mm. Okay, I'm good. Movie. The Conjuring and Insidious are really high, but The Conjuring is number one. But my non horror answer is Interstellar by Christopher Nolan. It's amazing. Incredible 10 out of 10. I also like Citizen Kane because I feel like it makes me seem quirky. Mm. I've been digging Star Wars though lately. I mean, I've seen the first like six and The Force Awakens, but not since I was like really young. So I'm trying to really like get it. You know what I mean? I get it. Also, I love Jurassic World. Bryce Dallas Howard, my girl. Mythical Creature, again, wish I knew anything about these things. Music Artist. When I woke up, I was thinking about them diamonds. Gotta, 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 gotta go on my ear. I guess most of you don't know that song, Iggy, of course. Madonna's up there though too, I love Madonna. Actually, she's probably my favorite favorite. I think musically, I like Madonna the most. Mm. Mm. But I have been really digging Massive Attack lately. I'm so inspired by their music. And um, The Carpenters, which is so random and out of character for me, but it's such feel-good music. And I've been having a, a really good time with my life lately. Like, it just matches the vibe so well. Oh my god. I totally don't regret this, like, a single bit. Mm. More questions. What's my favorite escapism method? Hmm. I love music. I love getting sucked up, especially, you know, when I'm wearing like a... <laughs> I was about to say something I don't want to say on camera. A serving, like, outfit, and I have my AirPods in, and I turn on Massive Attack, I feel like I'm walking the runway. I feel like I'm a god. It's so fun. I really get so sucked up into music. I also love video games too, but it takes a really good video game for me to get sucked up into it. I'm like... Immersed movie shows very rarely work for me. I get so bored by by movies and shows easily. An amazing trait to have being a film major. 
Now my professors always give me like, oh, here's my 100 favorite movies. You've sat through 100 movies and paid attention to them and like, mm-mm, couldn't be me. <laughs> Whether or not you believe in a higher power, if there were to be a god, what do you think they're like? What's your perception? I have thought about this a lot. I would say I'm like kind of Christian. Like I, I believe in a god and like the principles. But I do think there's some kind of entity or something in control. And I think they're super chill. Like, unless you're like causing harm to people, I really don't think that the god like cares. As long as it's not hurting other people, I feel like I think God more than likely just doesn't really care what people do in the world as long as they're doing like, like not being terrible. Like we're basically his sims. He kind of set this whole thing in motion and just wants to see what we do. And as long as we're not like going out of our way to hurt other people, I don't think he cares. Mm. What little event from your past has had the biggest impact on you today? <laughs> I think there's a lot of things that had little influences on me, but I think my life really got set in motion in the past year. So I wouldn't even say that there were many things that I could attribute to making my life what it is today. Like maybe I would say getting started at WUFT, but that's so recent, it's like hard for me to think of it as a good answer. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. That's what, that's my answer for now. How do you describe your fashion sense? Minimalism. I love track suits. I love sweatshirts. I don't like zippers. I don't like buttons. I don't like any of that. Less is more. I'm all about colors. Very little with patterns. Very little detail. Do you think anyone can be good or evil? Which do you think you're more of? I don't think anybody can just be good or evil. I think everybody's complex, and that's why I try not to, like, blackball people and leave certain people out of my life. Like, I always try to give people a chance. That's why I'm always sticking up for the underdog. Because I just really love learning about people. And I got talked down a, a lot for my life. And it just doesn't feel right for me to like, listen and give in to things that other people say. As for me, I would love to say that I'm the villain. But honestly, I'm like, I'm mostly a good person. You know, I'm kind of funny and I jest, but I feel like the net of what I do for the world is good. That's the call. What would you do on the night of the purge? I'd be all about the bag. Money's an idea. You know, is there anything you currently want to learn more about? Pick up a new hobby. I'm trying to get into music. I'm trying to get into making music, producing, writing, performing, singing, all that, recording. I've had a few people that I've gone back and forth with about working on music, but you know, nothing's set in stone yet. I'm super busy with all my other stuff. I do like learning more about journalism, though. I'm kind of already in the process of that, and I'm already writing stories. I'm published. I'm verified on Twitter. But I want to learn more about, like, I want to become a good journalist. I don't think it's going to be a forever thing for me, but I think at least while I'm in school, it's something that I'm going to do. Mm. Do I believe in aliens? Yes, of course. There's no way we're alone in this universe. There's so much uncovered territory. And we've already found multiple, like, Goldilocks planets where there can be life. Like, there's no way there isn't. The idea that we're, like, alone in the universe, to me, is, like, inherently religious. It kind of implies that we're some, like, miracle. And I don't... I don't believe that. By that thing, anything that occurs in nature is a miracle. Mmm. My friend Lynn just texted me. I was gonna FaceTime her tonight. She texted me, she goes, I'm on FaceTime, how about you? I'm filming a mukbang with questions written by Zoe. Back to the questions. What's the meaning of life? Nothing. We exist. Scratch that. I feel like that's the meaning of humanity. Like, we really just exist. There's nothing more to that. 
the meaning of my life to me, I kind of think of the world as like a canvas. Everybody's got their paintbrush and I want to be the one to leave the most impact. Like there's going to be people who are like scribbling over each other and I, I just want to be the one that like paints the masterpiece. Like that's what it is to me. Like I want to be able to overcome all the other stuff and just do something right. But yeah, I feel like in the larger terms, you know, I do want to leave an impact going forward. But in the grand scheme of things, we really are just all here. Like, that's it. Do you love yourself? Like, actually, if yes, how did you get there? If no, how do you cope with it? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I love where I'm at in life, for sure. I have fun with it, and I'm often very proud of myself. I attribute a lot of my success to me. But making the jump to say, do I love myself? I don't know that yet. Who's my favorite person in the world? Violet Comber Wylan. There's a few. Violet, yes. Who else? Kalisha Whitman, my girl. That sounds about right. Um, when I'm up late at night, what am I usually doing? Not this. <laughs> Usually I'm having a little dance party in here. Got the AirPods in, living it up. I'll be playing Xbox, watching something, usually tweeting. Love Twitter. Mm. Mostly it, just chilling. Did you have an emo phase? No, but I had a Skrillex phase, which I feel like is even better. I was listening to his music on my run today. I was like, oh my god, I forgot the hits. There's this one I love called, um, it was Off the Recess album. Use My Mind. Love that song. He has Bangarang, all that stuff. I feel like anyone who didn't have an emo phase had a Skrillex phase. <laughs> and it wasn't just a phase, I really do love EDM music. I'm inspired by it, and I think that's the kind of music I want to make. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm running out of questions, but I have so much food left. Oh my god, there's like bag fries. What do you love? Not like or tolerate, but love. Making things, being on camera, talking in front of other people, having people listening to me. Getting my ideas from my mind to the world. Dancing. I love the club. I love a lot of things. And then the final question. Oh, by the way. Sorry. I got lots of little sticks, too. I actually didn't want to. I was like, it's going to be too much. And then Uber Eats gave me $25 off. And I was like, oh, I have to get those $25. So... Conveniently, they were four dollars. And I was already at like twenty-one or something, so I was like, "Yes, please." Mm, let's get into it. Hold on. Hmm. Mm. I feel like these aren't gonna have a good pull, but they taste really good. Hmm. Well. I needed this so bad. What do I hate? No, not a good pull. People who waste my time. People with power who don't care. That's my thing. Oh my god. So the main course is all done. That was so good. Now let's get the bell. Per. So that was the end of my questions, though, from Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Oh, what the hell is going on here?
crackers. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me just say, I ordered a milkshake. My Uber Eats driver, who was amazing by the way, told me that they weren't serving milkshakes and was like, do you want me to get you something else? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll take a brookie instead. So he went to the extra effort to stay there after they had already made the rest of my order and get me this, which was amazing. But girl. I mean, let me ask the audience. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? This is sad. I'm gonna eat it anyway, but it's like, Squishy. They definitely gave me this uncooked. I'm still gonna eat it though. I paid for it. No, that was good. Besides this situation, it was a good dinner. <sighs> Late night snack. Mm, I guess I can stick with you while I finish my Mr. Pib. Oh my god, it's so late. I don't know. I've been trying to work on my vlog. Um, I hope you guys liked the last one. If anybody watched it, I think like 10 people watched it. No, I'm working on the summer one. I've been trying to shoot it every day. I've been lacking a little bit, but it's okay. It'll make my life easier to edit, and normally most days are pretty cut and dry. But I'm gonna try to have the camera on when it gets more interesting. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. Mmm. No, you know what? This is really good. I was eating so healthy today, and I had to blow it. But like... I've had a huge appetite this whole week. Like, I have just been eating late night snacks, like, non-stop. And I feel like I needed this tonight. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm really happy I did this. And I'm really happy I have a new video to make, too. It's gonna be really good. I'll see you guys either in the next video. I've been trying to get another one out before the, the next vlog. And if not, there will definitely be a summer vlog. Episode 1 of the vlog series. <laughs> yeah, no, I have a lot going on. I'm sure you guys see it or hear it. So that's all. Thank you. Bye.